here is another one of those videos that you're probably not going to find anywhere else except for our channel until it is copied I should say at least and that will have something to do with having these steps for a winder that die into the center point here. Now keep in mind that some building codes still allow this however this is actually the design that the newer building codes would suggest to increase safety and you can apply the same principles that I'm going to share with you here to this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the stairway would look like without a nosing. So if you're not going to use a nosing, you're not going to need this video. And your stairs will look something like this. And if you don't make any adjustments to the stairway when laying it out, then it's going to end up looking something like this once you add the nosing. And this design right here, if built correctly, should meet most building codes that allow for this type of design. And when I was building stairs, this is what I ended up with 99% of the time. Why, you might ask? Because this information wasn't available to me ever. I had to figure some of this stuff out on my own. So if I don't make any modifications at all to the layout, you're going to end up with something looking like this at the inside corner here. And even though we've made some changes, the outside corners aren't going to create any noticeable problems. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at what might be involved if we want the nosing to die into the center point and not the risers. And that minor adjustment will simply be to move each one of the steps back the length of the nosing. And this is what it would look like if we did that. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And I'm going to go ahead and overlay the other layout design. So the other one is this one here from the previous example. And this would be the new one where we moved everything back one inch to allow for our nosing. And you can see here where our risers aren't going to be lining up with the center point over here. However, the treads with the nosings will. So again, the secret here is just to simply move everything back the length of the nosing. And even though it doesn't look like it right here, once I pan up you can see where everything is going to line up with the center point here. And that's how it's done. And of course, you could finish this corner off with some decorative trim or even some type of a newel post if you don't like the way this finishes over here. You can see where the riser here is coming into this point, but it's not coming into that point over here or over here. And don't forget that our center point is right here going all the way down to here and has not moved over to here. And if all of this makes sense, then I've done my job and you have another tool for your stair building or design toolbox. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.